SWIFT's Global Payments Innovation, otherwise known as GPI, has significantly boosted correspondent banking services by improving transparency and efficiency while drastically cutting payment times. Now it's poised to do the same for capital market players who are deploying GPI to cut costs, reduce risk and enhance liquidity for themselves and their clients. Well, joining us now to explore just how capital market institutions can benefit from this move is Mark Sale, who's principal of the Liquidity Managers Group at UK Finance. Welcome. I hope you're having a great side boss so far. But look, I'll hand you over to Johnny. What are the key challenges, Mark? Key challenges faced today by your members on liquidity management. So I guess the key word for my members right now is certainty. So if you're trying to manage your day-to-day -day cash position in any currency, and there are multiple transactions going through in those currencies, the idea that you could have some certainty around whether those are going to settle or not, so that with, whether the money's going to arrive in your bank account or not, is critical. And the follow-on from those is that that link in from the actual physical cash management process into your trading room, uh, your position keeping for um, risk management purposes, and then further on down the line into so regulatory management and particularly in the intraday liquidity space, where you need to manage uh, the, the regulators and how they look at the way you manage your intraday liquidity, GPI going forward could be a major change for that process okay, and an advantage. What, and as we outlined in the introduction, GPI, of course, is a payment service. So broadening this out, how do you see its evolution becoming relevant to your members and capital markets? So um, it's, it's a payments tracking service. Uh, there are already ways that you can make payments um, and, and that's used by all of our members and the members that we're talking about here are the large correspondent banks, the global correspondent banks. So they, they have uh, responsibilities around the world for supporting their clients and also for, for supporting their own capital markets business. Um, so the way that this can help is, is, to, is to ensure that again, uh, they can manage their, their cash positions more effectively and more accurately. And that has major benefits for our members. Right now, they don't have that ability, or it's limited. GPI and adding the MT202, uh, which is the, the uh, institutional messaging, will, will give them a significant benefit in doing that. I, I was actually going to ask how the inclusion of, of MT202, which you just mentioned, uh, how, um, how the inclusion of it to the service has actually helped, if you could shed some more light. Uh, so, yes, so, so um, basically the addition of the MT202, and it's, and it's very important, the MT202 is the institution to institution message. And that message is often of a very high value. Um, so the MT103, which is a customer transfer, they are often uh, of, of a lower value, not necessarily, but of a lower value. The MT202s are higher value, so, so the the um, uncertainty, shall we say, of an MT202 payment not arriving in your bank account in any currency, whether you're looking at a forecast currency, which is a currency you manage for maybe tomorrow, the balance for tomorrow or the day after, or an intraday currency where you're managing the balance as we go through the day, uh, the inclusion of the MT202 and those high value transactions is critical to some of these large institutions. And um, what do you see as the immediate potential benefits to tracking inbound payments? So uh, right now there's, there's a limited ability to track inbound. If you are, if you are a clearing organisation and you have the ability and the links to the central clearing systems, so these could be central bank systems, where the money actually moves, uh, you may have the ability to track that. But if you're, if you're one step removed from that, but still a financial institution, uh, the ability to track that and see the timings of the settlements, the exact timings of the settlements, that, that's more tricky. So, so having um, the GPI service to provide that, that accurate tracking process gives those institutions a, a much, much stronger uh, view on, on what's going on on their bank accounts. I was going to ask again, you, you preempted the, the answer there, okay. really. I was going to ask the, the benefits that come to this real-time tracking. Okay, so the, so the real-time element, um, it, probably, it would probably benefit mostly those institutions that are direct uh, clearers. Um, having said that, 
those maybe the broker dealer in uh, the industry, those sorts of players, uh, the real-time tracking they need to do is important as well. So there are two elements to this. So there's one is the actual cash management element where you're trying to manage your bank account as accurately as possible. And then secondly, there's the, the regulatory element. So uh, the cash management piece is, is fairly obvious. If you can see immediately, I know there's a transaction coming in, it's in the system, I can track it from previous institutions that the payment is flowing through, then that works for it to your advantage. You can also see, I think, where your payments going out uh, have, have got to and how far they've got. Um, from a, from a, um, a broker dealer or a, a one step removed institution from the actual correspondent bank, uh, they will be able to see the exact timings of the transactions arriving in each of those institutions and then moving on. Uh, so they'll have the ability to see how efficient or effective their correspondent bank is. And that's quite powerful. Mm. And, and in terms of your own members, how have they helped shape this service? Well, um, we started this, the conversation with Swift on specifically on the MT202 about um, probably 18 months ago. Uh, so, and if we roll back to probably five years ago, was the initial uh, in, um, messages types that came out for intraday reporting. So that's been around for a while, although there are gaps in the service. Um, so our members who, who use uh, Liquidity Managers Group to air their thoughts around uh, the services that are provided, whether it's from Swift or from any other infrastructure for that matter, uh, th they came and they said, look, you know, it's been five years since uh, these, uh, these, these guidelines and new messages were put in place. Uh, we should probably kick the tires on those a bit and see you know, if there's any other innovation that's coming through because there are still gaps. So uh, you know, we started a conversation with Swift and uh, very quickly actually uh, they, they picked up on that. We had um, two workshops over about six months I suppose where Swift took on board what we were saying, went away, thought about it, came back with their ideas, we gave them some more feedback. Uh, and they've now absolutely taken on board uh, what our members are saying. Uh, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the development, it's in flight, so it will happen. Um, and uh, th they'll, just, they'll see the benefits of it. Excellent. Well, Mark, we'd love to speak to you longer, but I'm sure there's much more you'd like to take a look at, at this year's Cybos. Mark Sale, Principal of the Liquidity Managers Group at UK Finance. Thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. Cybos TV. Have a great Thank Cybos. you very much. Brilliant.